Am I the boogeyman? Are screenplay services really necessary? How's it, how's it? This is Chop, screenplay prep and are editorial services at all necessary? What I don't want to do is give you guys a sales pitch and 101 reasons to throw in your screenplay, 10 reasons why you must do this. You have to use screenplay formatting, whatever, whatever. Whilst I don't subscribe to all of that must tabloid sales mentality, I do want to justify the point of screenplay, editorial, and formatting services. It may well be that, of course, a seasoned writer will not need these. And of course, once you've made your name in Hollywood and they know that your ideas are so good that it makes them money, they accept your screenplay almost in any format. You can have all sorts of mistakes and break all the rules. But until you become Quentin Tarantino, you cannot afford to mar your chances of success. So what do I mean here? The Hollywood reader has a hard task. Consider this scenario. Good morning, my low-paid readers. Take your seats. There are scripts on your desks and get going. Oh my god, look at all this text. It's so thick. Hey, why is this guy starting without an action description first? Oh my god, this is... Transitions? This dialogue's just interrupted by... Parentheticals. The kitten mewing? Oh my god, there's a flashback there. Wakey, wakey, guys, more to do. Free pizza if you keep on going. Oh, I'm so tired. Yeah, I could sleep too. So what we see there is the hard time that a reader can go through when they're faced with a pile of screenplays and each writer potentially takes many different approaches to present the same idea or scene. So, for example, things like camera direction and things like phone conversations where either... You, well, here's the problem. The, what does the, the writer actually want? Does he want the reader to realize that we're in one location watching one person speak and we're jumping to the second to see their side of the conversation? Or are we hearing person B on the shot of scene A, or what? Often these are so muddled that it's not clear. The moment the reader trips over to try and decipher what you are trying to mean, then you lose them. When they've got a stack of scripts to get through by 6 p.m., they kind of get annoyed and potentially speed through the rest of that screenplay, or even if, if they're really up against it, they trash it and move on to the next, looking for that comfortable read. The necessity of an editorial formatting service is that it helps get screenplays into a generic manner without destroying the story. Now, the key thing here is that these services should never alter your story. It's simply facilitating the read by bringing in film concepts together to ensure that your screenplay slips into the pile as something that is readable, that the screenplay reader, your gatekeeper potentially to success, doesn't trip over, doesn't have a problem, and gets through it and takes in the story without being distracted by either whether it's mistakes or confusions, or distracted by things like camera direction and awkward scene headings that begin to remind the reader that this is effectively an instruction manual rather than a story. You want your reader to be picking out the good stories from the pile to present to the producers or to his boss at the studio for consideration. So the moment you, you trip that up, that process up, then you're hurting your chances of success. So brilliant, if you, if you know how to present your screenplay in the right way, whether it's scene headings, 
um, whether it's using the present active tense and presenting things in a very much now happening manner, or whether you know you know how to handle conversations and how a text message on a phone should be formatted, then brilliant. But if you're struggling with these things, get through your first draft, get your story secured, and then you may want to consider using an online service for them to help you to make sure that these elements don't become a hindrance to the story and therefore ruin your chances of success. So when you're looking for screenplay formatting services, you want to see examples and see how they're handling the corrections. And what you want is a screenplay that reads well and is ready to, to submit to the industry. Whilst it might seem like a necessary evil, it's about giving your story the best chance of success. And if that's something that you're struggling with because your material is very much your baby, you can't always see objectively that you do need sometimes a second pair of eyes to go through and check not just screenwriting standards, but that it reads well. And typically the biggest thing that we see is the, the lack of punchiness that using the present active tense brings. So very much when we see people writing, certainly in the past tense that you would see in a novel, that really doesn't work. Many people do write, say, uh, along the lines of Brad is kicking the cat and then heads out into the garden. You want to really put it into the now and make it very much active. And, and as the camera sees it, Brad kicks the cat and heads out into the garden. Simple things like that. So a service like ours can look at these elements and fix them for you. So it often boils down to that second set of eyes. You're not always in the best position to critique your own work. Uh, you know, you can't be objective. It's, it's as much as a boss in a company isn't going to say to his employee, oh, work out uh, whether you deserve a pay rise and then set the amount you think you are due. It's, <laughs> it's not conducive to, a, you know, an honest appraisal. So you, know, you often need someone else to have a read through to see it from a different light, but also someone who's trained to look for those particular aspects that might trip up a smooth read. So if you want your story to have the best chances of success, get in touch uh, or look at the service page on the screenplayprep.com website and I'd be happy to give you a hand. Best of luck in your screenwriting journey and hope to see you on screenplayprep.com. Thanks for watching.